The Tupolev Tu-22M is a supersonic, variable sweep wing, long-range strategic and maritime strike bomber. It was developed in the 1960s, and remained in service in the Russian Air Force. The Tupolev Tu-22M is not actually a version of the Tu-22. In the early 1960s, it became clear that the Tupolev Tu-22 was inadequate as a bomber. Because of this, Tupolev initiated a major development of the aircraft type, adding variable swept wings and uprated engines. The design was really an evolution, fairly simple and low cost. The government and Tupolev were not keen on approving a replacement for the Tu-22 so soon after it entered service. Because of this, the new design passed simply as an update, rather than the evolution it actually was. The design was designated the Tu-22M, and was approved in November 1967. The variable sweep wing technology allowed short takeoff performance, efficient cruising and good high-speed, low-level flight. The Tu-22M was given the NATO reporting name Backfire. In 1990, a modernization attempt of the Tu-22M was initiated. The plan was to modernize the radar, but this was abandoned before reaching production. A new attempt of modernizing the radar was made in 2007, and the new radar was tested in flight for the first time in 2008. Four more Tu-22Ms were equipped with the new NV-45 radar in 2014 and 2015. In September 2014, a contract was signed for a full midlife upgrade of the Tu-22M. The upgraded version, the Tu-22M-3M was to receive a further upgraded radar, new navigation equipment and a modified flight control system. A new self-defense electronic radar suite was also to be fitted. Armament was expected to be enhanced by adding new missile capabilities. The deliveries were expected to begin in 2021. There are also reports that the Tu-22M-3M was used for testing a new hypersonic missile. This testing was to be completed when deliveries of the Tu-22M-3M was initiated. The Tu-22M was first unveiled in 1980, during a Warsaw Pact exercise. The first use in combat was in Afghanistan in December 1987. The backfire flew strike missions in support of the Soviet Army's attempt to relieve the siege of coast, and it bombed enemy bases and material supplies. Backfires also flew missions aimed at relieving the besieged city of Kandahar. The Tu-22M suffered from poor manufacturing quality, and there were many maintenance problems during its service in the Soviet Union. Also, government bureaucracy hampered the provision of spare parts. The mission-capable rate of the aircraft in August 1991 was around 30 to 40 percent. Russia used the aircraft type in combat in Chechnya in 1995, and it has also been used in the Syrian civil war. There are also reports that the Tu-22M3 is used in the war in Ukraine in 2022. Production of the backfire ended in 1993. A total of 497 aircraft were produced.